This is the Mr. Green channel. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the Hailstone message. Since the Jehovah Witness organization hasn't been up and around doing the preaching work, and they frankly haven't been meeting in the kingdom halls, I think there's a couple regions in the world that are meeting in kingdom halls, but it's very sparse. And they're, they're not going out in field service from what, I, um, from what I know. They're not even doing cart witnessing, so they're not doing any preaching. So this is something that's I've been thinking about, and I know other people, others of you, had made videos. But I'm just kind of curious on what they're going to do once, not when 2021 hits, but once that, because let's face it, when 2021 hits, the COVID-19 is not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, it's going to be a well, it's going to be a while. It's going to be months before, probably even towards the middle to later part. I mean, summertime, late summer, maybe even early fall, by the time they get a vaccine. So I'm thinking. Right after that ends, will the will the governing body get impatient and start with the hailstone message? It seems to be highly illogical. Because there'd be a time, I mean, it would basically wouldn't be 18 months by the time they stopped preaching. I don't know what, what it was. I think it was probably around, I imagine, March of 2020, they stopped preaching. So when uh, around, say, I'm just, it's a shot in the dark, August or September of 2021, they have a vaccine and everything gets back to normal. From a standpoint of there's no COVID anymore, no virus going around in the world. So will the organization the leadership get impatient and decide to go ahead and uh, start with the hailstone message? Because it'd be very, I know I'm, I'm just speculating, but it'd be very interesting if they would go ahead with it the Hailso message, and Babylon the Great are, in their eyes, Babylon the Great is still around. <laughs> that would be a really an odd predicament if, if you're if someone's a JW, and they know other services are going on, they're back to normal, and they're doing the Hailstone message, but of course, as I don't want to say fear monger, but of individuals that uh, just. Don't want to question because they'll be too afraid to. Well, they'll just go along with it. But in the back of their mind, they're thinking, okay, there's still other church services that are going, on, going around. And maybe they think, well, it could be that the fact that, that Jehovah will eventually ban religion in the middle of this hailstone message. But that's not really waiting on Jehovah, is it? It's It's something that's very interesting to think about i mean you can speculate a person can speculate all all the time but you know i just wanted to make this brief video about it but tell me what you think um, i'm sure i'm missing a couple things here i'm sure i didn't cover everything i wanted to but you know what uh that's suffice and thank you so much for watching and have a nice day i also wanted to add the fact in Asia, one in 6,000, there are one in 6,000 JWs compared to the rest of the population. So that's, that's something that I wanted to also talk about is the fact that either we're, if, are we really close to the end? Because remember, the preaching work is, to, is a warning message before the end. China is not getting a witness. Uh, India is very extremely sparse. One and it's just really not. The numbers aren't favorable. Uh, there's fifty thousand witnesses in India, and India, as you know, is the second largest country. Probably going to be the largest country in the next five, ten, fifteen years. It's going to surpass China as the large, most populous country. They have. 
whatever it is, 1.3 billion, 1.4 billion, just incredible amounts of people. And then you have Indonesia. Just in the Americas, again, there's way more individuals that are witnesses in North and South America compared to the rest of the world. And uh, it just doesn't seem to be, isn't, it's not logical. It doesn't add up. If you use your power of reason. It just, either the end is, is like the organization, like Stephen Lett says, it's super, super close to living the final part of the final part of the final part of the last days, or we're 100 years off. Think about that. I mean, you look at Ethiopia, the fact that you can go uh, fact check it, uh, just look at the numbers. Uh, there's 10,000 witnesses and the population is 100 million, but yet in the nation of Cuba, there's 10 to 12 million people and they have 100,000 witnesses. Hmm, let me think here. It just, again, the Americas are the vast majority of witnesses. In Europe, there's, and in, in Africa, there's a view, but not North Africa to the Middle East and a lot of parts of Asia. I mean, you got the Philippines, either hand, you have a lot of witnesses in Korea and Japan, but again, China, India, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, um, a lot of those nations, like Southeast Asia countries, there's zero to no witnesses. So is the end close or is it a long way off? Now with that hailstone message, if they continue, if they jump the gun of that, that'd be it just doesn't add up. So tell me what you think. Again, not trying to debate, not trying to say, I'm not trying to disprove or prove anything. Please understand that. Again, thank you. And this time, uh, well, leave a comment, please. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, thank you.